paddling up the Chub River. It's wild, it's all around me. Tamaracks here by the shore and willows. This could easily be northern Canada. It's really crisp out here. You can really taste fall now in the air. And there is this kind of stained glass look to the hillside with splashes of crimson red. I mean, just truly tropical red. There's brilliant sun and the maple and birch are lit up. As the river winds into the mountain valley, it narrows and narrows again. So I'm squeezing through a vein of water the width of a hiking trail, willow branches squeaking against the canoe. I pass a beaver lodge and turn, and suddenly I'm right on top of a pair of indignant mallards that go whirring into the sky. Sorry guys, don't mean to scare you. A few more twists of the river and I find myself paddling through a forest busy with chickadees flicking branch to branch. The river opens up into a wide wetland framed by gray boulders. The mountains beyond are bronze and peach and smoky red. Soon this valley will be frozen, its bright textures buried under drifts of snow for the next five months. But today it's like I'm paddling the twists of a Persian carpet. Brian Mann, NPR News on the Chub River in New York's Adirondack Mountains.